what causes you to stay committed when it seems all hope is lost. My level of commitment comes from realizing that this was the only way for me and to live any lifestyle that's not the one I'm living now um, is a fate I choose not to um, fall victim to. Hello, my name is Christian Candemir, and I'm the world's strongest barista. I was born and raised in East Hampton, New York, Montauk, and um, I've been competing for about six years, training for over seven, and this will be my 19th consecutive competition. Uh, the lifestyle I was living before, um, it had no direction. I had sort of dulled myself and uh, lost my way. I remember after my Nana passed away in 2012, it was uh, really hard. She was, you know, my best friend. She was, um, she meant the world to me. And um, it was um, a, a weird moment in time in a period of my life that I started to um, sort of trail off and into this void and uh, but my cousin's boyfriend uh, he introduced me to the sport of strongman uh, once I understood that you know strongman was a lot more than a, a, a training style um, you know my uh, my trainer he had uh, he had signed me up for my first competition unknowingly um, and I think after the first competition, I just, I, I just kept competing and, uh, and after 10 competitions, I achieved, uh, an invitation to the national championships. And then from there, uh, I saw what it took to reach the Arnold. When they called my name that I had qualified for the Arnold at the national championships, I, I was actually set to take a, a break from Strongman back in June of last year. I was going to compete at a new concept, it's uh, the regional championships, um, and it was back in Pittsburgh, and I had podiumed, and so that in, in and of itself was a surprise, and then I got the invitation to the national championships, and I just wanted to stay focused on competing, and I thought that would have been my breaks. My level of commitment comes from realizing that this was the only way for me. It's not easy every day. Uh, a lot of the days it's um, very similar to a job or you, if you don't, there's days that you don't want to go, but you know that you have to go because it'll make you better for the day of competition or um, you know that the days that you are least inclined to go train are usually the best training days. So no matter how hard I try, there's always room for improvement. The lessons I've learned from competing in strongman have translated into a lot of different areas of my life and uh, I've been able to improve myself as a human being overall. When they called my name I just broke down and started crying because um, I had no clue. I was totally taken by surprise and it was one of the greatest moments of my life I believe. I, I never felt that it would truly happened no matter how hard I sacrificed, how long I trained, how many years I, I, would, I would dream about the day that I would be competing at the world level of strongman. No matter what, even when you want to give up, it could be that next step that could change your life forever. And that's exactly what happened to me.